but there's a long tradition of these types of uh, uh, voices of conscience. Um, so I just immersed myself in the world of St. Sabina and, and spent time with Father Mike and, and his peacekeepers and the community there and tried to learn as much as I could. We love you on Windy City Live. Yes, we do. Tell us, how did all this ha happen? How did this come about? Well, I play me. I play Val Warner in Chirac, which is really cool. So when people see this movie, they are literally seeing Val, and I am a reporter in the movie. We talk about the violence, but what can we do personally? I think we got to be engaged, and I think engaged in a number of things. In our block, in our home, in our neighborhood, we got to be engaged. We got to fight the issues. We got to fight a government that is abandoned, you know, whole communities on the south and the west side. Um, we got to fight a governor who's cut out every youth employment program, who's cut out violence prevention programs, who's abandoned um, our communities and the poor and the vulnerable. And I think we got to reach out to our brothers on the street and love them and respect them and help them, not just demonize them. My participation is only because of Mr. Spike Lee, our leader, our director, and uh, he reached out to me and blessed me with the opportunity to be in this film and said that his mission was to save lives in the south side of Chicago. I'll just say that this first of all, the history of coming to Chicago and telling my jokes and as a young cat, I'm 37 now, started about almost 15 years ago, Elroy taking me under his wing, let me do some jokes here and there for the radio stations and all that kind of stuff. More than that, we are more than that. We're greater than that, and I feel like in places like this, or Chicago, or whatever you want to call it, the hood, whatever you want to call it, like it's too much attention dwelled on the negative. I learned that no matter what you do and how much of a genuine heart you have, and if you're coming from a good place, people are going to criticize if they don't agree with what you're doing. Hi, we're from Empire, and you're watching the Higher Learning Network. So, how long have you been standing here? Not too long, like an hour. So, this we're moving in fast. This is a good sign. Yo, what's up? It's your man Tony Schofield from 106.3 Chicago's R&B, and you are watching Men on Higher Learning. Now, I used to hang around with some men that was into some higher learning. It just wasn't that kind of higher learning, but I got myself together now, okay? What is it that you do in your quiet time, in your meditation time, that allows you to bring us the films that you do? I sit courtside the Mass Square Garden, world's most famous arena. Okay, you glad you ain't got a drive? You don't like driving anymore? Not when I'm on. I have to have chauffeurs. When you drive for a living, you ain't trying to drive when you're on. You try to get your friends and buy them what they need and let them drive for you. What are you fishing for? That right there, what you just caught. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> that little bitty thing? That little baby, yeah. What kind of fish is that? You just caught a fish bait. He caught fish bait. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we said fish bait. Okay, is this F? Okay, is it open? Okay, so we gotta buzz them. Now, filming. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it's their wedding anniversary, everyone. Yes. How many years? How many years? Ten years. Yes. Big number. Ten years that they digits. that they claim on public the whole public ours. radio. And we're going on August. Oh, uh, ours is oh, ours is August nineteen. I'm gonna be like you when I grow up. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, girl. Oh, okay. I'm taking it with my phone. Okay, okay. I got her phone. Okay, they're going out. 
Uh, yes, yes. So wait, wait. Captain Billy. Step on that. Captain Billy is showing them the ropes. She didn't. She's just excited because she bought me some. She, she didn't know where he was. She's like, where's Brandon? I'm like, he on the depo. She was like, what? He did. Look, we know where it works. Okay, y'all come up front. We're going to have one more coming on, and then y'all can pick y'all seats. Oh, that's room up front? Yes. We're not going to go fast. Y'all can just relax. You can be on the water and relax. Come on with your baby cat life vest. What's more you got? You got room, Bobby. Yeah, we got one more. Oh, that's so cute. We need a better one. I have a better one. Oh, you can't put no kids in the best one. Right. Hey, Billy. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. My dears, yes. So glad you came out to join us. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. I'm turning the camera on myself. Yes. I brought them out to have a ball at the Hammond Marina with their girl Kit Kat Gray. Yes. I did. I turned it on me. I'm a little confused now. Y'all about to have some fun. I would be like, you need your life jacket. I don't want to lose my life jacket. Okay. See you shortly. You can send her that. Oh, this is her phone. I love it, Bob. They get their picture. Okay. Ooh, we just got off the wall, off the boat. How you feel, honey? Wet. I got wet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm photo wet. bomb. <laughs> I, I got wet too. If it was about 90 degrees, I wouldn't mind being wet. But uh, I'm so glad you guys had an amazing time. Thank you so much, Happy Kim. anniversary. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Ooh, and here's the man right here who splashed us. There he is back in there. He wants splashed us. Had us all wet. Yeah. This is the guy who splashed us. You the one did it, Al. Yeah, Al. There he is. He the one did it. Man, no, man. No, it wasn't me. Yeah, it was. It wasn't me. You the reason why we wet. See, I'm all wet. Hair got wet. You know black women can't get their hair wet. What's wrong? With you. Hey, I got wet. He didn't get the memo. Yeah, we came all the way to the end. I let him in. Open. Open. That was nice, dude. Yeah, that was nice, but I don't want no more water. Thank you very much. I think I'm going to have me a peace drink or something here. Seven news. <laughs> Come on, who won the race? Hang on. the Greyhound ride together. We ride with Al. Yeah, but I wasn't using it. Come on, kid. You taking your shoes off, girl? Okay. Oh, you're getting on the ski boat. Yeah, you ride with him. Oh. She I can't have my shoes wet, man. Oh, you on the jet ski. Oh, okay. Yeah, not foot do get wet on that. Yeah, they're gonna get wet. Okay. Oh, yeah, they. What, did I just hit a chord with you? No, I'm gonna be good. <laughs> She's my boat mentor. She can handle it. I got faith in you, kid. Be good already. <laughs> <laughs> She said, now come back and get her. You go, girl. You go, girl. Look at her climbing up there. Like she know what she, look at her. Girl, you ain't know what it is. You done did this before. Why you playing? No splash. Okay. Those are the rules. No splash. I think you said no Oh, you said no smashing.
And Andre Bellos. And we were background for Empire. You and can find Mari at Mari Rubia, M A R I R U B I A A, or Twitter, Mari L. Rodriguez. Check me out on my website, AndreBellos.com, and you are tuned into the Higher Learning Network. <laughs> So this is how you spend your Sundays, your fun days. Sunday, fun day. Man. Oh, my baby. So, the other boy's like that. He, he has chains in them. I'm wet. Oh, 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 so did you get wet? Nah, but I got your one the boat. But it was so it refreshing. Oh man, it, it was refreshing. That's all that matters. You know? It was refreshing. Wine glasses to her ears. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Nefertiti uh, of America. I think Nefertiti things right there, they look very Egyptian if you ask me. Wow! Boy, why you gotta show out like that? Why you gotta scare us like that? I thought I got crashed. Who screamed? I don't know who screamed. You did! When that brought you down, I screamed. We all screamed. We all screamed for ice yeah. cream. She said, I screamed for ice cream. Oh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely sure? Are you through scaring people now? Are you absolutely sure? I don't know. Are you sure? Uh, they scared me out there. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give Charles something to do. You hear that, don't you, Charles? Okay. That's right. my my editor. So what okay. was Okay. But we got all can we just change? Just, and then I'll No, you look fine. You don't need to change. Babe, I'm gonna hold the door. I wanna look at our food first. I turned it off. Oh, thank you. It wasn't dirty, was it? It's all the way live. It's huh? all the way live. Real yeah. up yeah. up here. If they choose to. Oh, I should have known. It's the cat, 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 young. Tongue, baby. Cat got your tongue. Yeah. Cat got your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> because see, folks didn't know that this was my dream. For 15 years, I asked my baby for a yacht. Next year I'm getting you one. Yeah, because he was going to have resentful conversations. <laughs> Alrighty then. I like big boats and I cannot lie. <laughs> Tony has your phone and your keys. I gave you your phone and your keys out there. Yeah, I know. What I do with it? Uh oh. No. I give it to you? No. 
Uh oh. You gotta walk back. It was so many people. Who do we ask? Right. Will you guys go on and take off your shoes and come aboard? I like big boats and I cannot lie. Hi. Okay, is it too windy for us to have our umbrella up? Oh. That was very nice. Yeah. Even though we only got a little wet, we didn't get sparkling wet, so yeah, it's I all good. Let me see what I cut myself on. Can I see? Oh, you see that that Why are you looking at my body? Oh, okay, okay. See, she cheating. <laughs> uh, but you hurry up and put my ace back in that pen. Yes, pad. I did. Ace is on the bottom. Now I'm going to have to do it Can't be nice. Can't be nice. Oh. Yeah, girl, but he's a fat ass. Let me tell you this is what I like. Down the jeans, down the jeans. Down the jeans. You told me that Strick was in here. Did you see Strick? What's up, Ross? Hey, Ross. Do a split for me. That's what I like. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead, Ross. <laughs> Take care, girl. Hey, Tony. You're live on Facebook. Facebook. Uh, you want to hold
You should have taken this money. Can you hang out out there for a minute? Oh, yeah, me too. All right, so. Okay, y'all. I gotta put my hand down because I, I gotta kick some booty now. I'll pick it back up later, Miss, unless I can get Tony to hold. Hey, Tony! Tony! Hold the camera, brother. We're live on Facebook. The thing about interfaith is that they allowed me to heal. Imagine if you were being discharged from the hospital to the street, what would happen to you? You would either end up dead or back into the hospital system. Interfaith House is a recuperative center for those individuals who are coming out of the hospital system. So instead of recovering on the streets, they can recover here at Interfaith House. We provide services so they can heal, they can rebuild their lives, they, they can renew their spirits uh, to get to the next level. The face of homelessness isn't what you necessarily would think. There are many people that are homeless that have careers that have families, master's degrees, doctorate degrees. We don't have any idea how many people are just one paycheck away, one day away from being homeless. Yeah, I have 20 years in the mechanics business. And then one day I had a seizure. I had a seizure, woke up in a back of an ambulance and I was on my way to Metro South and Blue Island. Uh, after I was discharged from the hospital, it's a little over a month later, so you're evicted and all your stuff's gone. It can just happen to anybody anytime out of the blue. Primary services that Interfaith House provides is a safe place to heal, food and shelter, social services, medical services, so that whenever they leave Interfaith House, they're not going back out on the streets. Instead, they're rejoining society again. We don't discharge unless they're well and they have stable housing. It's amazing to see somebody that when they walked in the doors, they didn't have a place to live and they had no hope at all. And when they walk out of the doors here, they have their life back. There's no other organization of its kind in the state of Illinois. The staff is fantastic. You could say that each one of them is the glue of this place because they just have a tendency to care. On any given night, there's about 600,000 uh, individuals in the U.S. that are homeless. There are homeless people who are ill and injured on the street. That's every day. That they have no place to go. There is a great need for this place. I do have hope. You know, right now, today, at least I'm smiling. You know, I am smiling. So. And uh, I'm doing things that I thought I'd never do. I don't know where I would be at what, if I didn't have inner faith. Is there like an angel watching over you? I put down my deposit and my first month's rent. I'm leaving Tuesday, April 1st, and that's going to start my new life after inner faith. Help me finish and newly developed business billionaire breakthrough system. I want to talk today about my friend Zelda Robinson, who has created this mindful breakthrough system, which is absolutely phenomenal. And you want to know what I learned from it? I learned that I can stop the negative patterns in my life through one simple word 
stop. And I think about that all the time. Every time I see a red light, I remember to stop. Every time I see a stop sign, I remember to stop. So even when I'm having a bad day and I can see a stop sign, it'll remind me of what Zelda's taught me. So if you guys haven't taken her program, you need to sign up for her program because we all need to stop the negative voices in our head and she's got the tools to help you do it. I'm Heather Schooler, owner of Help Me Finish, and I hope you guys sign up. And when you sign up, have a fantastic day every day because that's what Zelda is going to teach you to do. Hey, this is Bill Walsh with the Power Team Success TV Network. I am so honored that I have an amazing speaker, a gifted author, that Lily is taking the world by storm with her message. Zelda Robinson, how are you? I'm wonderful. Gosh, Thank we're so, so honored to have you on the show. So maybe you could share with some of the promoters around the country and individuals who are thinking about booking you to speak. Just a bit of your background would be great. Well, I worked 20 years in radio. I retired from radio. But that radio career turned into motivational speaking. Yep. And as a result of that, I got into television. But there was always something in the back of my mind. You've got a message. You need to go back and share that. So I started back, and this is the place to be with the International Power Team so that I can get my message across. And so when you do speak at a lot of events, right, what are a few of your main speaking topics that you like to share with audiences? Well, the main topics I like to share are for entrepreneurs and for business owners who have a daily struggle of thoughts coming into their head about what they can and cannot do. I have a a mindfulness training program, a system that will help you get to where you need to be. And I'm sure a lot of entrepreneurs face that. Okay. I'm sure a lot of small business go through that challenge. And of course, if you're listening today and you're looking for a great speaker of the book, she owns this space, she lives in it every day, and she's helping a lot of individuals have that big breakthrough. So what would you say when you do and you go speak at these events, what would you say is the one big takeaway the audience walks away with? If there was like an aha moment that they would have that they'd say, oh my gosh, I, I learned so much from it. This is one of the big things that I learned. Well, one of the, the greatest gifts that I have is mindfulness, and it's learning how the brain functions so that you don't beat up on yourself, all those negative thoughts that you have. You learn how the brain functions and how to not cover up, but replace those negative thoughts with positive thoughts, and there's a whole process. It's a system. That's pretty awesome. I know you travel around, but you're willing to speak globally, whether it's local, national, regional, it doesn't matter. You're there. Uh, I know you're excited about getting that message out there. What is the best way for promoters watching this video today or someone's watching the video that they could get some more information about you? Just look at the website at the bottom of the screen. That's how you can contact me. That's awesome. And all you got to do, once again, if you're looking for a great speaker, she's definitely the one. You'll love her at your event. And I can tell you that I'm excited to see you change even more lives. Thank you so Congratulations. Much. Thanks for being on the Power Team Success TV Network. Hi, my name is David. I work Cook County Clerk. And what's so nice about today's meditation is in this world of kind of craziness, so many demands on us, constant noise, um, that when you meditate, all of a sudden you kind of let everything flow freely, your mind, and of course, it's hard sometimes. You, you feel like you're in a trance, and maybe you want to almost fall asleep. But it helps to release so many of the pressures on people. So it's a great thing, and I thank you for making sure that's part of the program. Thank you.